stop claiming to be religious or spiritual or good or that you're going to attain salvation one day unless you are rich. This is Dr. Testosterone and this video is from my heart. I sincerely believe that people who claim to be spiritual or religious or that they're going to they're one with God or they believe that uh, they're going to go to heaven, they make these arrogant claims. Unless you are rich, unless you have power, and unless you have experienced the temptation that is in the world, in the material world, you cannot claim to be anything. Now let me explain what I mean. I see these Buddhist monks, when I go to the temple here in Tampa, I see Buddhist monks that are there, they can't speak English, they can't communicate with people, they're like skinny, unattractive, not very muscular, they're poor, they're homeless, they live there at the, the temple. Now I'm not saying I'm rich, I'm actually very poor myself. Um, I have a well over six figure debt that I have to pay off and hopefully somehow I will one day. Uh, but I don't claim to be anything. You know, I claim to be just a person who is trying to progress and live life and do good things to the best of my ability. But people who claim that they are doing things right, because they're poor, a lot of them are, they can't claim shit. Let me give you a practical example. Let's say that there is a priest or an imam or a, a Buddhist monk or some, you know, like a rabbi and he claims that he is righteous, he is on the path to becoming one with God, he speaks to God and he has the ability to resist temptation. Now there's this concept of synaptic plasticity in the brain. Whatever you go through in childhood, whatever uh, however your neurons are processed in childhood, that is how you're going to behave throughout life unless you do a dramatic change, unless some crazy shit happens to you. Okay, so right now I was watching a, a documentary about Shaolin monks and how they go through this rigorous training since they are kids, okay, and they are very disciplined, they, are, they kind of practice Zen Buddhism, they can take a hit on their head and not get hurt. They can get a, take a hit on their arm, not get hurt. Uh, they climb up thousands of steps, climb down. They can meditate. They can split bricks with their hand. They can do all these things because of this chi that they are uh, propagating throughout their body and they can choose the body part that they want this chi to go to. It's because of synaptic plasticity. It's because their brain has been trained so well over years and decades. Okay, now, if one of those motherfuckers says, Hey man, I'm not tempted by sex. I'm not tempted by power. I'm not tempted by money. I'm going to look at him in the eye and I'm going to say, Listen, fuckhole, you have no power. You have no money. You have no Kate Upton and Pamela Anderson and Megan Fox lying naked in front of you in their primes <laughs> and you don't have that temptation so how the fuck are you going to tell me that you can resist temptation when you've never had power in your life, you've never had any kind of money, you've never had any kind of physical fitness where you can be proud of your body, okay? So if you are one of those self-righteous type people who claim things, stop it, okay? Now I read a book called The Science of Getting Rich. I learned a lot in that book. He talks about how to achieve a higher level of consciousness, to achieve this collective consciousness where you are, you understand how the world works and you are living in an optimum in a, in a, in a very surreal way where, where you have this energy of the world, you need to be rich for that, okay? And it, he even says in the book, The Science of Getting Rich, that going after money and trying to become rich is the noblest thing you can do. So all those assholes who are trying to tell you to not make money, fuck them. You need to make money. Think about it. 
when you have money, you will be able to go to fucking Macau and get any bitch you want at a prostitute house, a brothel. Okay, one of my friends went to Macau. He was telling me that there's this auditorium of women where you can choose the Eastern European or the Vietnamese or the Chinese. Okay, now I'm not telling you to go after hoes. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is develop the power, develop the capacity, develop the ability to do all these things through money, power, physical fitness, amazing health, okay? Have the ability to access that, to grasp that in your life, and then choose through your own free will, if there is such a thing, to not do those materialistic things and do your spiritual things, go, go in a cave and meditate and so on and so forth. But do that when you've achieved success through money, power, being able to have sex with anyone you want, being able to go anywhere you want. And that is how you'll be able to claim. And that is how I will believe that you are actually going towards that path of salvation. So it's kind of a serious video here. It, it, this is something very close to my heart. If you agree with me, comment below. If you disagree, comment. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with the fact that going after money and achieving power is a prerequisite to claiming being religious or spiritual or uh, being with God and, and having that energy of the universe? Uh, I would love to hear what you think and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks, guys.